What if the most powerful resource shaping the future of the world was not oil, not gold, not even diamonds, but something so hidden, most people don't even know it exists. Hear this. Beneath Jamaica's soil lies a treasure so vital that without it, your smartphone wouldn't turn on, electric cars wouldn't move, and clean energy dreams would collapse. For decades, what we threw aside as toxic red mud might actually hold the keys to global power. This is the secret power hidden beneath our feet, and it could make or break Jamaica's future. The discovery nobody expected. For over 70 years, Jamaica has mined bauxite, turning it into alumina for aluminum. Every ton produced left behind a byproduct, a thick, dangerous sludge called red mud. It stained landscapes and threatened waterways, but hidden in that mud are rare earth elements, a group of 17 metals with superpowers. Then came the Game Changer. A private firm, Geophysics Jamaica Litty, discovered vast new deposits in St. Elizabeth, 50 million tons of soil rich, not just in the common rare earths, but in the heavy ones, the kind the world is desperate for. Suddenly, Jamaica isn't just a tourist paradise, it's a strategic mineral frontier. Why rare earths are the world's lifeblood? Rare earths are sometimes called the vitamins of modern industry. Why? Because tiny amounts make the impossible possible. Lanthanum is inside the glass of your camera and the lenses of microscopes. Cerium polishes every mirror and helps clean car exhaust. Neodymium is used in magnets that power electric cars and wind turbines. Samarium withstands heat in fighter jets and spacecraft. Scandium, found in Jamaica's red mud, makes aluminum strong enough to build rockets. And heavy rare earths like dysprosium and terbium keep magnets working even in the searing heat of engines. Without these, there is no clean energy revolution, no smartphones, no defense systems, and the world knows it. The global chessboard. Here's where the story gets dramatic. One country, China, controls almost 90% of rare earth processing. Back in 2010, China cut exports and prices exploded overnight. Car companies panicked. Nations scrambled. That was the wake-up call. Whoever controls rare earths controls the future. Now imagine Jamaica, sitting just south of the United States, holding a deposit with an unusually high amount of the rarest, most valuable elements. It isn't just geology, it's geopolitics. Jamaica could become the French or supplier the world is desperate for, but only if it avoids repeating the mistakes of the past. Two roads ahead. Guinea or Australia. Look at Guinea in West Africa. It has the world's largest bauxite reserves. Billions of dollars have flowed out of the ground, but the people remain poor. Raw ore leaves the ports. Rivers are polluted. Villages choke on red dust. The resource curse is alive and well. Then look at Australia. It has its own rare earths, and instead of just exporting rocks, the government built a strategy Billions in financing, partnerships with allies like the US and Japan, and new plants that process the minerals on Australian soil. That's how you capture the real value. That's how you create thousands of high-tech jobs. Jamaica is at that crossroads. Which path will it take? The promise and the peril. If managed wisely, rare earths could pour billions of dollars into Jamaica's economy. Thousands of jobs for engineers, geologists, and skilled workers. A chance to diversify beyond tourism and traditional bauxite. A chance for Jamaica to lead in clean energy materials, not just follow. But there's a danger. Jamaica's energy costs are among the highest in the world. Processing rare earths demands cheap, abundant power. If that isn't solved, Jamaica may end up repeating history. 
exporting raw concentrate for pennies, while other nations reap the wealth. This isn't just about minerals, it's about sovereignty. Will Jamaica own the future or be used as a quarry once again? Where things stand today, Jamaica's story with rare earths isn't new. Back in 2013, the government partnered with Nippon Light Metal of Japan to build a pilot plant. It worked. Rare earths were successfully extracted from red mud, but global prices crashed and the project stalled. In 2020, the Japanese firm handed the plant to Jamaica. Today, it sits as a gift and a challenge. The government has promised that 2025 will be the year Jamaica moves from conversation to action. But questions remain. Who owns the minerals in red mud already shipped abroad? How will investors be chosen? And will Jamaicans themselves see the benefits? Blueprint for the future. Experts say Jamaica must act boldly and decisively. Pass a national critical minerals strategy modeled after Australia. Clarify ownership and royalties in law. Market Jamaica's unique dual opportunity, Red Mud and the St. Elizabeth Deposit, to allies in the US, the EU, and Asia. Solve the energy crisis with renewables like solar and wind, making processing affordable. Use the Jamaica Bauxite Institute pilot plant as a showcase to attract investors. And most importantly, build local STEM capacity so Jamaicans hold the best jobs, not outsiders. Handled right, this could be the single biggest economic transformation since bauxite itself, the global race. The race is on. Nations are scrambling to lock in supply. Companies are searching the globe. The world's green energy future depends on it. And here sits Jamaica, with the minerals the world cannot live without. The question is urgent. Will Jamaica rise or watch another golden chance slip away? Bonus facts. Let's share powerful facts you may not know. Fact 1. Scandium's miracle. Just half a kilogram added to some aluminum strengthens it enough to build lightweight fighter jets. Fact 2. Colors of life. Rare earth phosphors power your TV's bright reds, greens, and blues. Without them, screens would be black and white. Fact 3. Waste turned wealth. Extracting REEs from red mud could clean up toxic ponds across Jamaica, solving an environmental problem while creating riches. Fact 4. A Caribbean connection. Early signs suggest that rare earths may be scattered across other islands too, making this not just Jamaica's story, but a regional one. Beneath our feet lies a secret power, one that could change Jamaica's destiny. The choice is ours. Let it slip away or claim it as the foundation of a stronger, prouder, and more prosperous nation. If you haven't yet done so, please subscribe today to this channel, Impacting Jamaica, as we continue revealing the hidden forces shaping our island, our Caribbean, the diaspora, and our future.